All right, here we are back. We're going to make another video. Today it's not going to be a solo video. I, I, I've been wanting to make one on a Callisto for, for a little while now, but I don't ever seem to be uh, fast enough on the attack button in my hops to be the first one into a Callisto. And I just want to do it to, to try to show some guys uh, uh, how, to, how to pull off the wrap. A lot of people asked, do you, do you, are, are you really flaring the flamethrower? Or why are you flaring the flamethrower? Where are you putting your flares? Blah, blah, blah. So I just want to kind of explain the wrap and, and how to do it. So let's go in and do some scouting and kind of explain what we can do here. Now this is a pretty standard Callisto, except for typically uh, a lot of the times here you'll have all mortars or some other defenses, uh, but not cannons. Uh, but we're going to do the wrap anyway, just because. And once we get up to the top, you will be shocking these flamethrowers. Got to shock that mortar, this four pack of rockets, and this four pack of rockets. So it's a four shock, pretty easy Callisto. And now the guy that hit it first, uh, he did a good and a bad job at the same time because you can see he didn't finish it, but uh, there's not a lot of health left on it. And I'm, I'm trying like crazy to hit the health statue to. To show what it is but it's a 256 callisto on uh let's see what op are we on here i forgot it's a 256 callisto on deep cut so yeah, it's got a a pretty decent amount of health now let's go back in and talk about the strategy now typically one thing that uh well i sure wish it would let me scan it well, I know how we can look. Let's go in here and check out the health on the empty uh, empty base. Scout. So nine ten. So this had a, a about two point uh, one two point two million. This is a 2.2 .2 million uh, Kaliso. So actually, yeah, the guy, the guy did pretty good. So he took about 70% of it off. I have 30% left to go. So I only have to do about uh, uh, five or 600K worth of damage uh, to finish it. And I chose to do it just to, so I could finally make a Callisto video just to, to show the wrap. Come on. All right, first thing to note is the only thing that uh, this guy did uh, did for me that I don't have to do is typically, uh, let's go in right here, screen right, typically, come on, okay, typically along here, uh, on the inside of these defenses are going to be some mines, whether they're shock mines, boom mines, or regular mines. And uh, I recommend uh, clearing. Well, if you hit, if you get a good barrage, uh, you can clear all of them, and maybe throw an art. Uh, but I recommend at least clearing them above uh, above this point. Get rid of everything above it. If there's one down here, it's not going to hurt you too bad. And now, what the play is here is first thing you do is clear these mines. You clear these mines. Typically, a Callisto is going to be more shocks than this. Uh, so one, th oh, you piece of shit. Hold on. <laughs> so one thing uh, to keep in mind is that uh, discard, reload the game as usual. One thing to keep in mind is always look over here on the right. You see, one thing, this uh, the reason this guy, the first guy, didn't take it off is he didn't have enough GBE to pull off his shocks, uh, to pull off all the shocks that he needed to throw critters because you see over here on the right, these power cells usually, well, always scout and make sure there's not a rocket in range, but you can usually always dump a couple of both bazookas over here to the right and eat all of these power cells for extra GBE. And once you eat the GBE, you know, flare over and do what uh, what you what you'll see us do in the replay here. So we get rid of these mines. These mines have to go uh, that I just discussed. And the play is, of course, always watch these rocket launcher. Uh, uh, these rocket launchers here. You really need to come from uh, way over here on the right 
to get under these uh, to get under these rocket launchers if you're doing a flare landing, which you'll be doing most of the time because you'll be over here eating these power cells uh, over here on the right. So, and note this range, you'll pretty you'll pretty much always get under here with one smoke. You can start with one smoke uh, uh, on the beach. And we'll talk about flare placement. Maybe somebody knows something better. Uh, if they uh, could tell me after they watch it, but I don't imagine a lot of people will be watching my stupid videos. But I always throw my first flare, my beach flare, not all the way in the corner. Let me, let me pull this off again. Not, not all the way over here in the corner, but I throw it about in line with, uh, with that, with that def whatever defense that is right there. Uh, it's usually not a machine gun. And then, and then I throw my first smoke to where you got to throw it really low. A lot of people make a mistake and throw it high, but I throw it really low and make sure that that flare is inside that first smoke. If you, and, and then you'll, the, your next flare will be to the left of that. You'll center it on the, you'll overlap it here and center it on the, the line of that uh, defense. But uh, the reason I do that is because as your girls are walking this way, whenever they hit, uh, they hit this flare, they'll automatically start turning up and walking towards the defense uh, and, and getting in a more narrow, uh, a narrow line. You know how your zookas, when they're coming off unloaded, they're really wide? Well, whenever they hit that flare, they start uh, walking up on their own and getting a, a little single file. So let's erase some of this. So after, uh, we have to go back, this card, oh Jesus, the game's got to reload again. Okay, but that's the first flare point, that is the first flare, oh somebody destroyed something else, that's the first flare point. Now right as soon as they start, they hit this bottom flare and start to go up, no. Oh. Right as soon as they hit that flare and start to go up, my next flare point, my next flare point, and your flare point also needs to be, this is one that I, I don't need any uh, input on, this is just how it's got to be, is you need to put it on this wall on this corner. This is uh, the, the, the next flare point up. And uh, you flare right there and the path, disappear please. The path is, you, sorry, they're going to, uh, what in the hell is going on with my screen recorder? But they're going to split this machine gun, this sniper tower. They'll split these defenses here. And then they'll split here. And now... As soon, you need to time it, what you, you need to time here because you don't want all your troops, all your Zookas to get to this flare and uh, start to spread out. So you want to time it so as your girls are walking up, this is the important sequence to pull off the wrap and take the base down or, or a face plant, is you need to time it to where you throw your next flare and your next flare is going to be right up here against the wall in between this defense and that flamethrower and it means needs to be it needs to be up against the wall uh if you can't over here put it right up against the wall and you you want to time it to where this flare this upper flare lands about the same time or just before the zookas reach this bottom flare because you want them to keep moving you don't want them to stop and start to spread and now as soon as they're the, the, your final two smokes need to be thrown at the same time, which is going to be these right here. These two smokes need to be thrown simultaneously, not one and then the other. You just pop up, throw them simultaneously. Now, as soon as you throw those two smokes, as soon, as soon as you throw those two smokes, you need to uh, flare... You need to flare this flamethrower. Now, whenever you flare this flamethrower, you, you need to get that flare on the flamethrower before your girls pass this point. It needs to be on that flamethrower before your girls pass that line. And if you do that, 
they will walk up and they will split. They will start splitting either right here, depending on when you get it, or right here, and they will surround this defense. And as soon as they're around this defense, flare the core. And then once you flare the core, you start throwing shocks. And y'all pretty much, uh, like I said, it's pretty much always going to be, except for in this one, of course, that I'm showing. <laughs> but most of the time, these defenses are going to be mortars. You're going to be wrapped around a mortar, not a cannon. And uh, it makes it easier that it's a cannon on the top and not a mortar. Because you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to shock the this the cannon, but you have you shock you need to shock these three flamethrowers and the upper defense together, and and if they were the typical one and this one too, you shock the shock the two bottom defenses, and then of course we'll shock here and here. Now let's see if it all uh, works out according to plan. After I reload my game for the fourteenth time to make sure you. Uh, can see how Boom Beach loads properly. Okay, do battle. And now let's see it in real time. I'm gonna dump a couple of boats and pick up some GBE to make sure I can, uh, I have the GBE to float my four shocks and throw a couple of extra critters if I want, maybe even reshock the flamethrowers if I need to, but I don't of course because it's only, 500k but it's always good practice to do this because if you're the first one going and you got to throw some BART and ART to clear some mines uh, you need the extra GBE because a lot of the time Callisto is going to be five five shocks flare down to get them low on the beach to get under these rocket launchers flare over Now, um, I throw this smoke as late as I can because you don't want it to expire uh, before you're out from under. Because I'm going to delay my hero a little bit. So there's the smoke. Second one, a little to the left, flare up. Lost a couple to the machine guns, but it's all good. You can avoid that. I just... Uh, through my first smoke in a shitty spot. I did I didn't do what I told you that uh, you should do. Okay, now throw that flare, they keep walking. Double smoke, throw the flamethrower, flare the flamethrower and you'll see they wrap that uh that cannon nicely, then flare the core. Throw shocks. And that's how you do the wrap. Hope it helps. Have a good day.